Hey, this is Paul, the Outdoor Movie Guy. Um, haven't posted much recently. I had one of my computers take a dump. I've uh, been waiting to have some spare time. We get really busy in the summer. So now I have some spare time. I'm uh, just throwing together some videos when I was rebuilding my machine. Uh, I found a group of videos that I created for a Chamber of Commerce um, Zoom conference type thing. It's kind of to uh, help improve people with their Zoom calls, just improve their audio, that type of thing. So uh, I created these videos. They were individual pieces that I would play uh, during the Zoom con conference. This isn't all of the stuff that I did for the San Leandro Chamber of Commerce. It's just a little piece of it. So some of it may be of interest to you. So uh, I think we called it... Um, can you see me? Can you hear me? Or something like that. So it, w it was a fun little thing. It was for Small Business Week. And they asked me to present uh, as I'd been doing a lot of uh, video um, stuff. So this, these are these videos. They're not quite uh, what I do with the outdoor movies. But um, it's definitely video technology type stuff. So it's super interesting to me. Maybe some of this will help you. Uh, if you do a lot of Zoom videos, you may see some things here that you do. And you're like, oh, man. I may may want to change uh, what I do on those. Anyway, I'm just going to play them. Uh, they did have in between pieces with me talking, but uh, that's not going to be there. So these are the, just the individual videos that I took uh, a while ago. I was rescuing the drives from my old machine before I rebuilt it. So this is that, that stuff, and I thought I'd just throw it out there. Thanks a lot. Have a great one. Bye. Oh, whoops, I just read in the chat. It looks like I was on mute. Okay, it's great to see you all. Oh, what was that? Oh, you can't see me. This is a common Zoom thing that we do see. People with a light source, which is directly behind them. Now, this is over-exaggerated to show you how bad it can be, but this can just be having like the blinds down behind you. There's no front light on your face, and this is what you get. And this, if you're a presenter, this looks ridiculously unprofessional people do want to see you it's the only way we're getting that that face to face right now so a um, couple of real quick things we can do to improve that is i'm on a laptop this is just the laptop camera the laptop speaker it's going to pick up my laptop and i'm going to get that light source there we go i'm going to get that light source right in front of me and now that is a lot better now i also do have the curse of the glasses so if you keep the little preview of yourself up um, you can see yourself and if you do have glasses you can add a little tilt to them so you don't get that uh, glare on the glasses so that's the the easiest way to improve the video quality that you're giving out is to look where that light source is and instead of having that light source directly behind you with nothing on your face get that light source in front of you or off to the side slightly, and you're going to get a much, much more pleasant image. One of the easiest ways to improve your audio quality is just to add some of the earbuds which have the uh, microphone built in. Um, there's two little advantages to here. First, you get the microphone a little bit closer to your mouth. And then the second is uh, the earbuds help get rid of that extraneous noise. So when you're trying to focus on uh, the conversation or the Zoom call that you're on, these can really, really help. Excellent, cool. There's another issue. Be quiet. Charles, be quiet. So if you have somewhere to put your animals that may bark like that, great time to uh, before the Zoom call, put some food in a room somewhere they're not going to be barking and distract them throughout the call. A super simple thing for looking slightly better on camera is just changing your camera angle. So you've all been on a, a, a call like this maybe with family members. <laughs> um, try and get the head above halfway. Um, another thing, if the camera's slightly higher, it can look a little bit more flattering for some people. So you can think about the camera angle where you want it. If you are on a laptop, um, you may need to stack on some books or something like that. It's actually, it puts the laptop in a better position ergonomically for you as well. Uh, if you're on desks that are lower and you're always looking down, that's going to be bad for your neck. If you elevate everything, it's a lot uh, 
it's a lot more ergonomically correct and that's going to make you feel uh, so much better and look a little better as well. So I'm going to quickly talk about sound before we, we move on to different types of microphones and things. Sound is one of the most annoying things within Zoom um, if you're not doing it correctly, if you've got a presenter who's using, say, the microphone from their camera, uh, from their laptop. So um, easy things to do to improve your audio quality is so you don't get any feedback. You can always put in little earbuds or you can look like a cool DJ and wear headphones like this. Great thing about these, they do cancel uh, lots of over the over the ear headphones. They do cancel out that sound. You don't kind of look natural with them on, but it does give you excellent sound and it does cut that that other sounds out for, for you if you're presenting. So that can make it a little bit easier. Um, that's one thing I love. You'll often see me wearing the bigger headphones um, rather than possibly getting feedback, having the, the microphone and the speakers going at the same time. Within Zoom, it, it has the technology that works out when you're speaking, you don't hear yourself or you're not supposed to hear yourself, but uh, removing that extra sound in the room, if you have it blasting out on speakers, um, can really help the quality, the audio quality for everybody. Hey, so uh, now we're back in my office. And as you may be able to hear, the audio sounds a little bit different. I am using this uh, nice microphone right here, but we're gonna quickly go over the various things you can do to improve your audio. So our, our first audio way of capturing audio, often you will be on a laptop or maybe a phone, and is the built-in microphone. If you're gonna go the built-in microphone route, uh, biggest advice that I have for you guys is make sure that the area that you're doing it is very quiet. Um, don't try and use a built-in microphone in a coffee shop or anything like that. It's going to be very, very distracting. Um, if you are, you have to, you have no choice. Make sure you're familiar with how to mute your microphone on Zoom if it's an open type forum. So you can mute and unmute when you need to speak. And that'll make it a lot easier for everybody else uh, on the call. The next step up would be uh, just plugging in your, your earbuds. Um, they do have the microphone. The microphone gets close to the mouth. It's going to give you a little bit clearer audio. Uh, often these will plug straight into the laptop's uh, audio. Uh, always test beforehand. You can go in and um, check the various audio devices. That'll show you how to do that a little bit later. Uh, your next step up, I don't actually have one right here, is there are USB microphones that they plug straight into your computer. That'll give you excellent audio there's some that look very similar to this for like podcasting type thing others will be over the head uh, earbuds that type of thing very really does help with the audio um, another step that you could look at this is from a while ago i had this massive cables which is always a bit of a nightmare is uh, this is just a microphone and i can plug that in there and then this is a little lapel mic that can just be here. Again, that's going to give you clean audio. That microphone is close to you, so it's going to sound a lot better. Um, my next step, and this is a this is kind of a, a higher priced option, is I borrowed this from my wife. This is a, a Jabra headset, and I'm going to uh, plugs in via USB, and it communicates with it, and it is excellent for zoom calls they were when they went remote in uh, her office everybody was provided with one of these they are um this is the jabra uh gn and it's it's not a cheap option but if you're you're looking for kind of something you can just plug in and it'll work it's very very good the battery on it lasts a long time it just plugs in via usb so that's a great option super clean audio and then the next thing i'm going to show you is how i'm doing the audio right now so any microphone um, with the right adapter can be plugged into a computer so if you have audio stuff you may want to go this route if you've ever thought about doing any podcasting or anything like that i actually record my youtube videos uh, right here you'll see i have a little background it's very movie orientated so it's very uh, in brand with what i do but um, i'm going to quickly flip cameras right here there, there we, we go, go. 
So that is how I'm connecting the microphone. Uh, this is a Behringer. Um, this is a four port because I do have people I'll do interviews with sometimes. You can always, they, they have a single port one. This will just plug into the USB on your computer and allow you to bring in uh, a microphone. Either this is an XLR connection, right? Sorry, this is an XLR connection right here. So you can bring it in via XLR or via uh, the the standard microphone jack which would be right there um, again it, this may be overkill for many of you but that way uh, we can bring in a really nice microphone like this one um, it gives you a much nicer rounded sound uh, you can even get the pop guards and all of that to, to give you a really really beautiful sound so it can be as simple as just using your laptop uh, the microphone there, just make sure it's super quiet when you do that. Or you can move all the way up to adding a, a, a USB interface device to allow you to, to plug in um, full-on microphones. A great mid-range thing would be to get yourself a nice USB microphone. Or if you do like to have the flexibility of walking around, definitely look at the Jabra stuff. It's not cheap, but it's definitely an investment um, to, for, your, for your business. That would be a tax write-off as well. All right, we're going to move on to something else. Thanks. Hey, we're back. Um, now we're going to look at getting video uh, into Zoom. So there's many different ways. Any video source that comes into your computer or nearly all video sources that can come into your computer can be used as an output. So um, I'll show you in another video where you would find those outputs so you can change them but we're going to have a look at some some real simple ones so the first one you would get is say if you are on a laptop would be the built-in camera it'll often default to this if you are on a laptop um, that is your basic one so if you are on a desktop and you do need to get video into your machine probably the easiest way would be to get a little webcam that will hook right on the top of your um, monitor uh, usually they are a USB connection and they'll just plug into your USB port and they'll just pop up as an option. But say you want to get a different type of camera uh, into your system. So there's different ways to do that. You've got some cameras that will connect via the USB ports. Um, you've got, of course, your internal cameras, but then you have um, other ways to get your cameras in. So if you're on a desktop, you may have a capture card, or if you're on a laptop, you'll need a uh, normally a HDMI to USB adapter. So they can take two different forms. And I have two of them right here. This is a little Magwell card. This is kind of a higher end card. You can find a lot more value price cards under $100. Uh, basically one end is your USB, which will plug right into your USB. And then the other end is your input uh, right here. So that would go from your video camera or, or whatever device that you are using uh, straight into here. Uh, the other option I have right here is this small little video mixer. Um, this again is a USB connection and it just sees this as a camera. So when you're, you're in Zoom, and you look down your video options, you'll just see this as, a, as an option. And this will actually give you up to four different video inputs. So if you really, you're doing presentations and uh, you, you don't want to have to switch uh, on the screen between, say, a laptop and uh, uh, maybe a video you have on something else and then your, your camera itself, you can use these buttons to jump across and, and show all of your video. So these are the different ways. Um, so any any device that can give you a clean HDMI out, and what I mean a clean HDMI is sometimes when you plug something into the HDMI port, you'll see all the information about camera settings and things. You need to be able to have that turned off. But any normal camera, like a normal video camera, uh, a lot of the DLSRs, the Canon cameras, Sony cameras, you'll be able to plug the HDMI in by using one of those devices and you'll be able to get a very different image and a much cleaner image. And we're gonna have a look at uh, uh, three cameras we have connected, actually four cameras we have connected right here and then the difference in the image quality. So I'm actually gonna go, um, right now I'm on uh, a special camera, a PTZ camera that's, that's used for production, um, but we're gonna 
flick to a couple of other cameras. So right here, hi. This is your standard video camera. And I'm gonna quickly click to my GoPro. So that is right there. That's just a normal video camera. And that's just connected with an HDMI adapter um, to a, a capture card. And then you're gonna see I have two other cameras right here. So that middle one was the production camera I was talking, telling you about. And let me pull this over here. And the final camera right here, over here is a DLSR. And that is uh, a normal, um, still camera. So let's click to the video on that and see the difference. So straight away, you're going to see that the, the image quality on this is beautiful. My, my background is completely blurred out. I have a, uh, I can change my lens. I can get a very fine focus with this camera. Um, great thing about this. It gives that beautiful quality. It looks, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, if you already have one of these cameras, that is an option, a, another way to bring the video in and give you a really uh, nice view. If you just want to quickly hop on a Zoom call and you're not presenting, I wouldn't even worry about that. But if you are looking to, to up the game a little bit, maybe do um, some recordings for, for YouTube or something like that. If you ha already have um, a DLSR camera, that is a great option. So I'm going to flip back to my... Nope, wrong one. Nope, not that one. This one. <laughs> Perfect. So I'm going to flip back to this one. Something else with the Canon cameras, and I don't know if this is the same with the, the Sonys and that, is um, right now we're connecting through the um, mini HDMI right here. You'll also see we have a USB connection. Um, what, when the pandemic started, um, Canon actually went through and uh, enabled the ability to connect um, a lot of their DLSR cameras um, to Zoom and, and bring it in as a video device over HDMI. Now it does drop the, the video quality slightly as in the resolution, but it, it allows you to use the really nice lens and all of that. So that is uh, another great option. If you do have a Canon, go to the Canon website and then you can possibly uh, bring this bring this camera in uh, as an option. It's a, it's a great way to do that. And then the final thing is if you do go with the, the DLSR option, you're going to be limited by your battery and your battery is only going to run so long. So it is possible to get uh, a device like this, which is it just basically replaces the battery that you currently use. Uh, you just replace that and this plugs into to mains power so you don't have to worry um, about that, about the battery uh, running out of power. So many different ways to get your video in. Uh, nearly any device, any HDMI camera, any camera with an HDMI connection, you can actually bring in with one of those adapters, whether it be uh, a simple uh, USB adapter like that or a little mini switch. Um, so any of those can do it. A lot of webcams that will come in the USB, you can go into uh, Zoom and just pull up that camera as well. You've got many, many different options of how to get video in. Uh, main thing is make yourself look good. <laughs> um, make it clear. Uh, if you're going to use it for presenting, maybe try and up the game slightly so you get that super clear image that people um, don't mind watching. All right, thanks. All right, so a quick thing about lighting. We talked earlier about you don't want that lighting directly behind you, and then we want to be lit from the front. Um, you can take it another stage a little bit further. So uh, in the back, you'll see that I do have some accent lights to make it a little bit more interesting. I do record my YouTube videos here, so that's a, a nice way to have uh, a background that kind of tells a story. The other thing with the lighting that I've got going on here is I actually have three-point lighting. I have a little lighting behind me, and then I have a light uh, off to my right, which is like my key light, which is lighting my face. And then I do have some lighting uh, off to my left, which is over there, which is your right. Anyway, um, let me quickly flip cameras and I'll show you what I have going on. Uh, you don't need to be as fancy as this. You can also get some really beautiful um, ring lights that would go around your lens to, to really give you that sparkle in the eye, just make you look better on Zoom. So let me just flip to the, the GoPro right here. All right wave hi anyway uh up there 
I just have a, a studio light. I have the soft box on it, so it gives me a, a softer light. You'll realize I raised that up. The reason I raised that up is I do wear glasses. If it was at the same level of the camera, I would get, uh, you would see that light in my glasses. So if you do wear glasses, always try and raise that light up a little bit. And then the other light I have is I have some indirect light just over from the corner uh, right there. And this is my messy office. I am so sorry about that. So yeah, that, that light kind of fills in the other side of my face. So that's just some basic lighting. You don't have to get real lights. Actually, the, the second set of lights, they're just simple track lighting that I, I moved around a little bit. That, that main key light, that could just be uh, your normal lamp. You're just moving it around. Uh, you can actually open Zoom and the settings without having a Zoom call going on. So you can play with your lighting, get it to the stage where you like it, and then uh, just know, hey, when I do a Zoom call, this is where the lights need to be. This is... Um, where it needs to be as in distance uh, another thing if you find your your face is too hot too bright in one section um, and you don't have a dimmer on the light a great way to fix that is actually just to move the light further away so there's simple lighting fixes again we're we're looking not to have that strong backlight that will um, often a camera will try and focus and and kind of middle out the image and if you've got too much light in the background, you're not going to see your face. Well, what I did here is I do have light in the back, but to, to balance it all out, I do have a key light. I have a light on the side and that just gives you that pleasant image. I hope that helps. Um, any more questions, just let us know uh, in the chat below. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Zoom and have a look at some of the basic settings. Let me just bring myself up. There we go. Perfect. So um, within Zoom, anytime you bring your mouse uh, over the main box, you're going to be able to bring up the various menus. All the menus uh, in the middle is your participants, your chat. This is what's going on right now. Your personal settings for, for your cameras and everything are all the way over to the, to the left. So if you ever need a mute, you can come over here and, and mute yourself. You can still hear me. I'm on a recording software, which is separate than that. And then I can unmute myself and you can start and stop video. You'll notice when I hover right over here, I can uh, do Alt A to mute my audio. I also have Alt V to mute my video or to stop my video and to start my video. So they're two great keyboard shortcuts. Um, so you can stop and start video really easily. Um, if you're on a large uh, Zoom call, and there's just too many people speaking. Um, it's kind of polite, it's nice manners to go ahead and mute yourself. Um, personally, I like to keep the video going. I like to see who I'm talking to. Um, I don't like the, the, the hidden name type thing, but that's just a personal preference. So I tend to run my video um, when I'm on a Zoom call, unless I have a, a super dirty office, which sometimes happens. Anyway, if I hit the little carrot right here, it's going to bring up all of my audio options. So you'll see I have a different option for microphone and speakers. My, my microphone's up here. This is the one that I'm connected. Uh, if you had a, um, a USB microphone it would show up right here. Your your typical line in microphones, they also show up here, right here. So this is where you get to select uh, all of that information. And then right down here, we have the speakers. Right now, my output is my Behringer. That's actually going to my headset. So again, I'm not gonna get that feedback, even though Zoom does have all this technology built in to eliminate that feedback. Um, I just like to have the headphones uh, You'll also see my monitors right here, and I have a, a ton more options that I really uh, don't need that many. Uh, we're going to look at the video right now. Same little thing. To get my options, I'm going to click on the carrot. And then these are all the various options. You'll go in here, and you're not going to see as many. You may only see one or two. Now, the, the silver capture card that I showed you guys earlier, that is actually right here. So uh, right now, it's vMix Video. That's a video production software that I use it'll bring in nearly anything, which is great. So if you have multiple cameras going into your, your computer, you'll be able to select um, whatever camera you want to. If I was on a laptop, I would also see that that default webcam would be an option right here. But I'm actually going to go over here and select the, the camera that I just connected to that card. 
and I'm going to start the video. Hi. <laughs> and there's the video for that. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the video as well. So that's where you would get those options. Other great options here is if I click on my uh, my carrot for the audio settings and I bring, a, bring up, uh, actually bring up the menu first, I can test my speakers and microphone. It'll basically walk you through a wizard to make sure that you're connected and you're getting sound uh, before you necessarily get on the call. So that's a great thing to do. Um, and then we, uh, we can actually go into audio settings and you can see all the individual things. Now, this is an interesting um, option right here. This is the suppressing the background noises. Uh, if you are in a, you know, really, really noisy area, you have an annoying dog or something, you can change this to high. It can end up making the sound sound a little metallic. But um, if you're in a really noisy place, then that's a great, great option. Uh, I actually do sometimes use the medium. I have a very noisy my desktop computer is a little bit uh, noisy, so sometimes I'll I'll set that up. But these are all the various options um, that you would need right there. So the last thing I'm going to show you within this is the, this keyboard option. You got to remember the keyboard shortcuts, and that can be frustrating because you have so many things in your mind. The last thing you want to do is remember the the keyboard shortcut. So another option that I like to use as I use something called a stream deck and they have all different sizes. The one that I'm going to show you is the 32 key one, which is overkill for most people. They make a really nice six button stream deck. So I'm going to change to my bird dog right here and then get rid of me. Hang on. Go away, Paul. There we go. Perfect. So this, this is a stream deck and um, I don't know if we can see, but each button is programmable and these top two right here is I have an audio I have an audio button and a video button and I can pause and restart my video and pause and restart my audio whenever I want to. So that's a great little option and they do make a small one. So if if you get you know confused on, on the Zoom calls and you don't remember how to unmute and all of that stuff. To make it a little bit easier, Stream Deck's a great little option where you can program those buttons. And then when you're on that call, you can just hit the button. You know you're unmuted, hit the button, you're muted again. So that's a, another uh, cool little gadget that can help you with the production of your, your Zoom calls. You can add other buttons to that. So if you are a presenter, um, the share screen button, that can be added to that. So it just makes it a little bit easier and it's less mouse driven and rather it's, it's a click. So that makes it um, a little bit easier. So I hope this uh, video helps you guys. Um, any questions, just let us know in the chat. Cheers.